What's going on guys? Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a movie that came out last year that was playing in no theaters near me, so I had no chance to see this movie until tonight. And that is Sing Street, directed by John Carney and starred in a lot of up-and-coming actors that are really unknown. Sing Street is about a teenage boy named Connor, played by Ferdia Walsh Pilo, and he lives in Ireland, and he has a very shitty life. It's with his family, and at school, people can't just accept him for who he is, and so he has a passion for music, especially singing. He has a crush on a girl who's played by Lucy Boynton, and he really wants to impress her, and so he forms this band with some other friends of his called Sing Street, and from there on, they all continue this band together, and it becomes very popular in Ireland. Now, I've been hearing so much buzz about this movie from the reviews I've seen, and everybody really loved this movie, and saying that it's original and different compared to all the other big blockbuster movies that came out in North America. This movie was made in Ireland and so it was very limited. I saw this movie tonight on Netflix and what were my thoughts on it? I really liked it. This movie was great. It's very different, fresh, original, and smart. And so let's jump right into the positives of Sing Street. Let's talk about the performances because they are what makes Sing Street fantastic. Starting with the main character, Connor, played by Ferdia Walsh Pilo. He definitely plays that character of that teenage boy who gets picked on, has a shitty family life, and so that gives you a reason to root for his character and having a passion for singing and forming this boy band. And it's really good. And I easily connected to his character and his passion for what he was doing. I also really liked his love interest, Lucy Boynton. She was also great. Great chemistry with Ferdia Walsh Pilo. And she did a great job acting-wise and chemistry-wise. And that's easy to root for in a female character. But I have to say, guys, the thing about this movie that surprised me were the songs. I really liked them. They were catchy. There is one song in this movie, Drive It Like You Stole It. It is definitely going to get nominated for Best Original Song at the Oscars. It's very catchy, and I love that song. I also love the romance in the movie between the main character and the girl. It's portrayed very well, and usually in romances, I'm not the biggest fan of if they're done right and the romance is really well done because the chemistry is fantastic and it gives you a reason to enjoy what you're watching from the romantic side of the film and i thought it was really well done as far as negatives i had one and that is the other band members in the movie the other kids i felt like they weren't given much character development to make me care about them or understand why they're there. You have an African-American kid, a short red hair kid, a glasses kid, and two other band members. I felt like they weren't given much depth and weren't given as much reasons for me to care about them. I would say I would have liked a little bit more depth and likability to their characters. And I have nothing much else to say except for the fact that I really like this movie. It's really good. Sing Street had fantastic characters, great songs, great themes in it, and it really did surprise me. Again, I wish I saw this movie earlier in the year. This movie was playing in no theaters around me, and better late than ever. On my rating scale, I'm going to give Sing Street a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Again, I wish some of the other band members were given more depth for me to like them, and if I were to put this in my top 10 favorites of last year, it would be an honorable mention. Alright guys, that was my review for Sing Street. If you guys seen this movie already, let me know your thoughts and opinions on it down below. If you guys haven't seen my channel update video for the month of January, it's on my channel right now. Be sure to check it out. Thank you guys as always for watching this review. And if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe today for more content. All my social media links are in the description down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.
Bye.